Hello and welcome to Greg's Kitchen. Today I'm about to make for you some Mummy Hot, hot dogs. dogs! Everyone will enjoy them. And if they don't, then just pull out this knife and shine some light on it by twisting it at different angles. That'll get them eating it. Enough fun and games, let's start cooking. This is Cool's Kitchen! First thing I will do is preheat my, my tomb, tomb or oven to 200 degrees Celsius grades yet 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 or 210 I don't care whichever that's about 400 Frankenstein two ingredients for this just hot dogs yum yum and some puff pastry Ooh. I am just using two hot dogs for demonstration purposes. Of course, you will need to use hundreds to feed all your guests. So first of all, grab your knife. You will need this to cut the hot dogs in half. Ouch! And this, my friends, is why I failed medical school. So I would cut the pastry down the center that way and across the center that way. Now put your hot dogs in the middle of each one like this. Next, we need to really just cut fine little slithers like this. Can you see me doing that? If not, if not open, open your, your eyes, eyes and you, and you will, will see. see. This can be a tedious task, so find some other sucker to do it for you, if you can. Try and cut them as thin as you can. It will make the effect greater. The thinner, the better. Believe me, that's not what she says. I probably should have removed the plastic first. Okay, let's separate these. That will make this even easier to do. So once again, go and find someone you really don't like because now it's time to wrap each and every single one of these crossing over to make it look like the bandages of the mummy. This will take time, so grab a book. Just alternate the bandages, crossing them over, and when we get to the top, we need to maybe get rid of that one, and that one. Maybe get rid of these ones. Just cross over like this, leaving a space here, and we can trim off any extra excess like this as well. And at the base here, we will just Continue to fold these bandages over until you're satisfied and happy with the results. Now that is one yummy mummy. Let's continue this tedious task until it's all either finished or until it's done your head in so badly that you have decided to hit the bottle of scotch instead. Either way works fine for me. And this is the last one. Mummified! Now I get what I'm using to put them on in the oven. I'll give it a spray. I will gently place them on the tray. And I will spray them again on the pastry for that extra sheen. What the? Donald Duck. Take two. Now we will place this into the oven. Now we'll let those cook for between 20 and 25,000 years. Or minutes, depending on what time zone you live in. Okay, so 20 something minutes later and here we go. I have these mummies. Oh! They've expanded. Oh! They're very hot indeed. Oh! Oh! How about I turn them around? Then you can actually see what I'm doing. Next we grab some American mustard and gently we put some eyes on each of our mummies. That was very difficult. Okay well there's one of those hot dog mummies. I call them Miles. Mummies I'd like to eat. <laughs> you can eat them like this or you can drown them in blood. So, let's give it a go. Mm. Oh! Mm. Oh! Ah. I feel the devil inside. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Delicious! That's a pharaoh tasting snack, that one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time right here. Hungry! It's <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Greg's Kitchen, where the food is blood curdling. Oh yeah! Ooh! Blah! Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Whoa! Yeah! Crikey! That's blood curdling.